Hi, I'm on the NDS stand at uh, IBC 2010 and I'm about to speak to Christian Knack, who's the head of the UX department, user experience department at NDS. I'm with the uh, New Initiatives Division in NDS and we have uh, explored uh, technically and conceptually what the future format of a digital magazine might appear like on companion devices such as the iPad. So this is designed for content exploration, for managing your set-top box in terms of recordings and channel zapping, uh, and also for primary viewing on this device or controlling what is being viewed on your big screen in the living room. So just uh, on this particular slide here as an introduction, just some basic observations related to print versus digital. This print magazine we saw before is designed to cover 30 days of television and obviously as you pass through time a lot of that material, really nice editorial stuff, becomes obsolete because time passes by and it's tied to television obviously. So it's not ideal we think. We think it's much more strong to build a digital uh, version of that particular magazine where we mold that information around now which essentially is a wonderful tool for the viewer to understand what's on tonight, what's on tomorrow, what's been covered you know in TV the last few days. This is what we call the cover view of the magazine. Uh, on the cover, of course, the most important TV event is promoted, but also you'll see that we have planner uh, GUI in, uh, elements down here that allows you to uh, manage your PVR. You have a Zapper GUI up here, so there's no need to pick up the remote with this. You can just control TV with that. It's important for me to say we're showing this right now on the iPad, but we have it on other companion devices, so we support Windows and, and the Android platforms as well with this particular proposition. So what you do here is that we want to make sure that we actually allow the user to you know, explore content at the end of the day, to understand what's coming up in the future, what's on today, what was on yesterday. So all of that content exploration is key for us. But again, being uh, a TV company, we also consider very much how we can tie this in directly with uh, you know, our technologies. So in fact, if you're sitting in your living room with this particular magazine discovering what you can watch tonight, you can also control your television simply by just hitting you know, channel up on this particular device. And then it will actually do a channel change automatically for you. You can also manage your, your PVR, for yes. instance, you know, you can add bookings, you can delete bookings, you can watch straight from the iPad for things that has been recorded to the hard drive. So it kind of uh, borders into the management of TV and as I'll show you, uh, also some primary viewing experiences on the iPad and on the big screen. So obviously here we are on the NDS stand, there's a range of other technologies here that you're, you're demonstrating. Yeah. Perhaps you can, you can tell us how, how this ties in with the other NDS yeah. technologies on display here. Yeah. You know, obviously we are a specialist in head-end technology and one of our products is the unified head-end, which essentially is designed not only to deliver content in a secure manner to the set-top box, but in fact also to, you know, devices like the one we're looking at here. So what's really wonderful about this, I think, is that this is a gateway to entertainment where you not only, as we talked about before, can explore content, you can manage your TV, but in fact also launch straight into primary viewing. So we would like to think of this as a proper TV magazine. The print version is kind of like a magazine about TV, but this is totally integrated. So here, you know, the distance from reading into viewing is incredibly short. So this is what we call the, the day view. So I launch straight into this from the cover of the magazine and I can navigate from left to right what's been picked by the editor in terms of great television on today. I can see that the Tour de France is coming up at 12 o'clock, so I'm working at that point in time. So I just hit the plus to in fact engage with that particular uh, event. I can book a recording, simple as that, close it down, and the red indicates that this has now been sent as a request to the PVR to record this particular event. If I scroll through the, the, the day's programming and get to night time, here's Avatar. Again, that has also been booked, but in fact, I can also, because of NDS technologies, enjoy that piece of programming straight on the iPad if I want to. So again, if an operator wants to give me early access to this piece of programming, I simply hit watch on the iPad, and then I can go into primary viewing on my device and use that as a secondary screen in the home or on the go for that matter. Let me just close that down. Again, for a company like ours, if I'm in the living room, it's also important to show how it ties in with the set-top box. So if I say watch on TV, straight from my digital publication, I can in fact start uh, the viewing experience on the big screen in the living room. So in fact, this is a great tool for, for you and your wife, for instance, to sit and explore TV, but also to control what's on the TV. Well, many thanks, uh, Christian. Uh, yeah. Extremely interesting yeah. and continued success. Christian Knack, Head of UX at uh, NDS. Thank you very much That's indeed. Me. Thank you very much.